Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's been a minute since I've put out an instructional video, and truth be told, there really wasn't much to talk about. Until now. With the very recent release of the FCR, I figured there might be some of you out there who want to see how to get things set up and running. So here's a quick video on how I set up the FCR and use it from the back seat. Hope you enjoy it. All right, so now let's go to the controls. Um, no, it's there's there's it's completely fine, man. <laughs> um, all right, so the easiest way to find the FCR settings is just do the search and find FCR. Um, uh, you'll see I don't have the radar modes mapped yet simply because um right now at the moment all we have is gtm right so no reason to map the others um until i find a uh, i find a reason to use them and honestly i'm running out of uh running out of hats at the moment so i did pre-order the apache collective um uh, for my uh i do have i already have the verbal collective uh so i ordered the apache uh collective head so whenever that comes out um that'll make things a little bit easier but um let's move right along so uh first things first you got to map your site select switch all right so site select it's down here on the collective and that's going to uh we can we can select tads we can select hmd we can select fcr so i have that map to a hat switch on my collector um all right so there is the first major thing site select switch so that's easy i don't know why it's also marked here hmm i don't know i'll clear that one um all right, so then uh, you've got to have a scan switch. Um, so the scan switch, let's take a look at it. It is... Right here. And it goes forward and aft. Forward uh, gives you a single scan and aft is a continuous scan i think i got that anyway you got to have those mapped uh, i've got that mapped to a uh switch on my collective as well uh both continuous and single so when you action the switch uh let's just say you action it forward for a single scan if you're in the middle of the scan and you want to stop the scan then you push it forward again and stop the scan uh same thing for continuous um or if you're in continuous scan and you want to switch to single scan um you can push it forward but that's not going to go right into a single scan it's going to stop the continuous scan you have to push it again um and then your fcr scan size switch um you got to have that mapped as well i've got that mapped to a, a hat on my uh, warthog throttle because that's what I got. Um, I don't have enough hats left on my collective at this point. So, all right. So I think that is everything as far as how uh, how it needs to be mapped with relation to the FCR. Um, all right. So uh, a couple things we need to do to put the FCR into action. Um, first things first, let's, uh, let's get our show page properly configured. I'm going to get the iHeads out of my way. We know where to hover. We're okay there. Uh, I'm going to kind of zoom in here and I'm going to lock it so it's not falling on my head so I can look at the camera. And, uh, 
Let's see what's going on. All right, so uh, we're gonna configure our show page. I had configured any of that, you know, it just came right out. Mission edit. That's all set. Um, okay, so now I'm going to move that site select switch to FCR. And uh, so when we do that, what you're going to see is this MPD is going to change to the FCR page. Pretty simple, right? Um, You'll notice here, elevation is an auto. I tend to just leave that in auto. Um, I don't. I don't really want to mess with it right now. When would I want to mess with it? If I'm like just cresting a hill and I want to get a good look down angle um, with the radar, then then I might uh, push it down. But otherwise, I'm just going to leave it in auto. Um, all right, acquisition source. What you're going to see here is we have a few options. We've got TADS, we've got FIXED, we've got Gunner Helmet Sight and Pilot Helmet Sight. So um, we could probably slave it to, I'm, I'm pretty sure we can slave it to a, a waypoint or a target area or something like that. So uh, let's see. I wanted to slave it to. Charlie 58. Let's see if I can do that actually. I haven't messed with that at all. Get the cursor. CAC. Alright, let's slave it to Charlie 52. There we go. What happened? Oh. I pushed the wrong button. That's what happened. I pushed the the button switches from uh, MPD to MPD. Alright, which one do we... Let's do... Alright, Charlie 53. Let's try that. Enter. Alright. And you'll see it's slave to Charlie 53. So we could, in theory, go to uh, our coordinates page and uh, change our acquisition source that way by selecting a uh, control measure or waypoint or target or whatever and then we could slave the FCR in that direction so that's one way from the back seat that you can uh, manipulate the FCR and turn it the way you want um, another way is we can put it into TADS and then it will basically go whichever direction George is looking so Let's uh, show you what I mean. Let's get George up. Gun lost. All right, and I'm gonna have him look over this direction. Aircraft's armed. And slaving. Empty slave. Okay, so we know George is looking over there. Hey, look at that. Look at the FCR uh, footprint on the TSD. It has. Uh, turned in the same direction that George was looking. So, obviously, we don't want to look at over there. Um, so, uh, what are the other options? A gunner helmet sight, pilot helmet sight, or fixed. So let's look at fixed. Fixed, you can see, as soon as I selected fixed, the FCR slaved straight uh, off the nose of the aircraft. So, uh, that's good for the way we're facing, but that may not necessarily be what we want. Uh, the other two options are the helmet sights. So, I like to put it on uh, pilot helmet sight. And then, what you'll see here is, whichever direction I turn my head, you'll see the FCR is turning as well. So, this way I can look, and if I see something and I want to investigate a little bit more, I can be like, huh, what's that over there? And then I can start a scan. All right. So we know the targets are right off the nose, right? So we're going to go ahead and execute a single scan off the nose. Here we go. All right. So I put it into single scan. 
and you'll see that it picked up a bunch of bad guys. So we got a diamond, that's our next to shoot, and we have a triangle, which is our alternate next to shoot. Basically, it's number two. Um, with the uh, next to shoot, uh, it's it's dashed because I don't have a missile launched. So as soon as we was that missile, you'll see it uh, it goes solid. So now you'll see that the colors just dimmed, and that indicates a stale target. It's not necessarily uh, meaning that it's not there anymore. It just means that uh, it's old data. So. All right. So, what uh, what's next? I think we are all set. And we're ready to shoot. Um, so I'll run another quick single scan. And then we'll just start pulling the trigger. And we'll see what happens. Alright. There's our single scan. Picked up the targets. We are armed. We are... Wazed. Let's go ahead and launch some missiles. Here we go. And I'm just going to fire them off in rapid succession. as rapidly as I can. Oh, hit the same target twice. That seems to be a problem that I'm running into. Well, that's it for this video. I hope this helped you to understand the basics of employing the FCR and Lima model Hellfires from the back seat. And I look forward to putting together some more clips of me using the FCR to dominate the bad guys in the future. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, or comment on the video below, especially if you have any questions. I try to answer questions as quickly as I can. Catch me live on Twitch or on any of the socials, with TikTok coming soon. Thanks again for all the support, and we'll see you again real soon.